It's been close to four months since Alonzo Bagley was shot and killed by former Shreveport Police Officer Alexander Tyler. And since then, there have been several developments in the story leading up until today. Tyler's scheduled court arraignment, which is attorney Dew Thompson says they both plan to attend. KSLA News 12's Michael Barnes joins us live from the Caddo Parish Courthouse this morning, breaking down how we got here and what we're expecting to learn today. Good morning. Good morning, Dominique and Bisky. Yes, here today at the Caddo Parish Courthouse, former Shreveport Police Officer Alexander Tyler is expected to be arraigned, and his attorney, Du Thompson, says both plan to be present. Now, if you remember, this all started back on February 3rd when Louisiana State Police say former Shreveport Police Officer Alexander Tyler shot and killed Alonzo Bagley at the Villa Norte Apartments on Fullerton Street. Now, while details of the incident were very unclear after it first happened, Mayor Arsenault released a statement about the shooting two days later. And hours after that, Louisiana State Police and Shreveport City Council held a press conference and released more details on the incident. Uh, on February 9th, we spoke to Bagley's family for the first time, and this was shortly before they held their own news conference announcing their legal representation, Ron Haley, and that they will file a civil lawsuit against Tyler within the next couple of days. Now, five days later, attorney Ron Haley spoke to KSLA about the incident for the first time since it had taken place, and February 16th may have been the most eventful of all of the story's developments with Tyler turning himself in and being charged with negligent homicide. He posted bond in the same day, all while body camera footage of the incident was being released to the public. And Mayor Arsenault and Bagley's family shared comments about the footage at Government Plaza that same afternoon. Now, since that day, Alexander Tyler has been scheduled to appear in court on April 3rd, May 1st, and May 18th, but all were pushed back to a later date today. And we're hoping to see if his arraignment will be pushed back again or if former formal charges will be announced. This is also the time where some may um, take a plea for their charges that are announced um, we weren't able to show any body, cam body camera footage of the incident this morning, but there is footage. The body camera footage will be available on our KSLA News 12 app and website. You can view at your own discretion. That footage is very graphic. And look for the first alert on any more developments on this continuously developing story. We'll keep you posted as we learn more. I'll be back at 530 with another recap live at the Caddo Parish Courthouse in downtown Shreveport. Michael Barnes, KSLA News 12.